A very good day to you and welcome to Herman Manuara's YouTube channel. My name is Jadel Cabrera. It's a pleasure, it's an honor, it's a joy to have you joining us once again for this conversation. It's conversations we say we hope will help our political leaders in making better policy and political moves. Prof, how are you doing wonderful. this particular morning? Oh, wonderful. We're at 170,000 subscribers. People are still subscribing. We thank our subscribers. We thank those who are part of this family. And we encourage those who have not subscribed to do so. It costs you nothing, yet it makes the family bigger. Yeah, it does. Yeah, Who knew bigger. we'd get here? Kenyans are watching us, yeah, Kenyans yeah, yeah. are talking to us. When we were struggling to get to 100,000 <laughs> to get the silver <laughs> button, button. Yeah. Uh, now we are almost double that, and we really thank and appreciate. You know, the yeah. reason why you, you started this channel, and you've said it several is because of these conversations. Yes. And now we are looking at Nane Nane on, yes. on Thursday, and everyone in the country is thinking, is it going to be worse? Is it going to change the outcome of how things are? Raila is saying, walikuja wakapigia sisi magoti tuka wapea some few people to help them. But you look at nane nane from, the, from how things are happening in the country. Would you tell Kenyans to be cautious of this particular day? I have said many times. I've said this country is too good to go down yet. I don't get tired. Mm -hmm. I can repeat. Kenya is too good to go down. And yet going down is not as difficult as people think. It's not as difficult. Mm. You know, I keep telling Kenyans, especially the middle class, when you wake up in the morning and somebody is preparing your beautiful daughter mm. in grade one and your wonderful son in grade three and they jump into your car in the morning and you drop them, and say, I'll see you later, have a good day. Then you go and pick them and they jump on you. That thing can end in a, plus of a split of a second. Mm. That, life can, that life can come to a stop. Mm. You know Kenyans don't know these things. And then we are, I don't know what's wrong with us. That mortgage you are just about to finish. Mm. You've been paying for your house. You're just about to finish. That can turn into nothing. Somebody else can come and live in that house. It happened in Uganda just. People who are prepared. The first people, the first homeowners in Uganda, yeah. around 1969, 70. By the time Amin is coming, 71, people had to flee those houses other people lived in. Yeah. I know of a friend who keeps, whenever I'm there, he shows me that was my house. Yeah. It ceased to be. So Kenyans must know, this is not hypothetical. These yeah. things happen. And it doesn't take a lot to destroy a country. From where you are... Look at know. Bangladesh. Yes. People Look at Bangladesh. Presidential palace again. I read somewhere and I was showing some senior politician in this country. Say the military has taken over. He said, no, it's not possible. Then I told Reed, it was scrolling. Wait for it to come. It came. Army chief, full colon. Prime minister has resigned. Mm. Military to form interim government. Mm. These things happen. And when we play around, mm. I feel very sad. What is the situation now? Because everyone is bashing those who are being seemed to be the organizers. This is Bonface Mwangi on this side, there's Hanifa, and then they look at the likes of Francis Gaido on this side. Everyone colliding with each other. Should Kenyans be united or is this the way to go where you call out those people that seem to be making profits out of what is happening? Oh, those things, all those things, are, they happen. Whenever there's some disturbance, whether there is, this is a revolution. And the revolution has all those kind of faces and those kind of people mm. and those kind of events and happenings. They are, all, they are always part. Why don't Kenyans read, please? Even those who have gone to school. Mm. Yeah. So you look at what is happening. With Revolutions well, have <laughs> revolutionists, counter-revolutionists, you know, others called traitors, betrayers, and what. Mm. And it, that's what a revolution brings. There's so many people on social media, especially from that post from Boniface Mongi about we, we are willing to die, we are ready to die. Yes. He's saying uh, so much of darkness, some are saying from his posts. How mm. do you, would you comment about that? Kenyans that are talking about death when it comes to uh, fighting for this change. I have talked to many Kenyans, and you too have heard many Kenyans on social media saying they are ready to die. Mm. In any case, I think we, many of us are already dead. What other death are you waiting for? People are already dead. Mm. If somebody is already dead, how, how, what do we, how else can he die again? We, I think we are already dead, most of us. You, 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 include you are just some, a walking dead yourself. You're including yourself yeah, in that. Yeah, yeah. You see, let me tell you this. Man minus hope is a dead human being. Mm. So, 
we live in a country where every passing day hope keeps diminishing. It remains on the horizon. You think you can approach the horizon, you can't. Trying to get hope becomes a mirage. Mm. So when a country people when people in a country have gotten to a point when there is no hope, how how can you say they are not dead? Mm. We are dead. So what do you think would be the outcome of Nani? But with, a, with the possibility of a miracle eh. to do a Razaras on us. Eh. Yes. <laughs> what do you think would be the outcome of Nani Nani? Because everyone is thinking it's not long, it's no longer about the Gen Z. It's about the whole country, the whole every generation. You know, Nani Nani, you know people are getting this thing wrong. Uh, we live in a country where money is everything. So that people measure people's ability to, to, be, to, say, to, 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 to say things to be people on the basis of how much money they have, what kind of car they drive, where they live. Mm -hmm. But if we, are living, if we are living in a normal country, people will be listening to people like us because we understand this country. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see, Nane Nane is not about the physical, or physical presence or absence of boys or girls in the streets. No. Nane Nane is an idea. No, not Nane Nane. Okay, Nane Nane fits there. Mm. The whole Gen Z thing is a revolution. Mm. A revolution is an idea. Mm. You cannot reduce a revolution to events. Mm. To say riots. So if there are riots, then you say this Gen Z thing is successful. Mm. If there are no riots, or if they, are, if they fizzle out, you say, we have won. You mm. are wrong. It is an idea. A revolution is an idea. Mm. It changes the way people view the world. Mm. And the way do, people do things. Many people sleep through a revolution. Mm. One day I'll give you the story. A short story written by a man, an American author. Called Sleeping Through the Revolution. Mm of a man who goes to the mountain to yeah. hunt. Mm. Then he switches off. I'm having some drinks, some people are some... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then he switches off for 20 years. Wakes up. 20 years. When he wakes up, the American Revolution has happened. Mm. America is an independent country. And the world has changed. Mm. Many people don't see a revolution when it comes. Is this the we case? have the benefit. Yeah. Excuse me a bit. We have the benefit of history. So we should not allow us to go through these things the way other people went through in the past. Mm -hmm. Now we have the benefit of knowledge because of technology. Mm -hmm. We have the benefit of history. We know where we are heading. Mm -hmm. We are heading to destruction. There will be no country tomorrow. This country is gone. This is the we know it. When you look so the it. best thing now that we know, yeah. can't we do something about it? This is what I've been talking along, all along. Mm -hmm. We know that we are heading to danger. You, you kwa gari meandikwa danger. Mm. Ata ukitoa. You, tunatoa yu bao yeah. ati danger. Mm. Nabado gari naenda. So, you are just stupid. Ubao likuwa in red meandikwa danger ahead. Yeah. Sasa mutu anakimbia natoa yu bao. Yeah. Na gari naendelea. You can see how stupid we are. Yeah. So, by doing some of these things the government and the leadership is doing. Mm. It is just removing that ubao pale mbele ya gari. Mm. Danger ahead. Unatoa. Unaifanya sambaza watu wanakalia. Yeah. Now they even overload more. Yeah. Unajua ile kabao ya inakuwa sasa ya sambaza. Yeah. You can see how stupid we are as people. Is this what we're looking at with <laughs> Raila Ruto? Those are, I, yeah. I listened to him yesterday. I yeah. saw a photo of you two with him. Yes. <laughs> I didn't want to bring it up but there it is. Yes. But I saw him <laughs> saying wali tupigia magoti. Ah, good night, yo. Wakatuambia wanataka watu tumewapa ah. wataalamu. Those are the things I'm saying. Anytime I sit with Raila I'll tell him that. You are saying we just had lunch. We didn't talk. <laughs> I was talking to him, I would have told him the games you are playing with Ruto Kenyans are seeing through them. Mm. And I will also tell him they will not work. Simple. Mm. There are few people I think who love this country like me. And I talk from the bottom of my heart. Everything I say is born out of my love for this country. The truth is all those things in Kutua Ubao. Mm. Danger ahead unatoa unafanya sambaza watu lakalia. Na gari bado kwa mtelo na ina break. Mm. Si lazima inaenda mto uh, Nithi River. This country is headed to Nithi River. But we can stop it. Yeah. Zamani magari haziku kuanga na break. So they are one gari, one bus had about 
10 makangas so they had logs on a tupa log gari na gonga ingine kaka bage da simama we have seen things in this country so we can still stop the vehicle as it is hurtling towards the needy bridge to, before it plunges into the river. That's where it is headed. What these people are doing, they think they can stop the river. They can stop the vehicle from going to plunge into the river mm. by engaging all manner of juvenile, kindergarten tricks. Mm. So those will not help them. Talk, they don't help anybody. Talk to me about the politics of it all. Okay, and sometimes I blame the intelligence of this country. Yeah. I don't want to join Rig G Rig in blaming the, a particular person. Mm. But I think I want to blame the intelligence. Why? You see, in, in other countries, what the intel community, sometimes it forces, not sometimes, mm. the intel would force the government mm. to do certain things. Even if the president doesn't want to. Yes. The president will be forced by security chiefs mm. to do certain things. Because they can see the country is going to be in danger. Mm. And it's their responsibility. They have taken oath to protect the country. If you are in the military, you are in the police, you are in the NIS, you are all these people in the security sector, mm. you owe it to Kenyan and their children and their grandchildren. And you are children too, that you must protect this country. Mm. And therefore, because the president is a human being, he can make mistakes. Mm. When it gets to a certain point, the security chiefs, especially the intelligence, must tell the president, no, this is wrong. You can't go in this direction. Yeah. You can suck me if you want. But this is wrong. Would you agree then with Okia saying the political class has now united against the people? You see, I have sung about it. I have said, the moment Raila will work with Ruto, the, the message they will send clearly to the public is that, huh? Kumbe, these people can work together and to let us be on our own mm. and die. And that will be a very dangerous stage to reach. We have reached there. You remember I've talked about repeatedly. Yes. I've said, the worst that can happen to this country is for Ayla to try and work with Ruto. Mm. The message they will send is that politicians can work together to protect each other at the expense of the people. Mm. And that's the message that has been sent loud and clear to the people. That the politicians care about each other. They don't care about you. Mm. That is, it is at that point I blame the intelligence. They must tell the president, no, there are things you can do other than bring Raida on board. Mm. There are things you can do. And these things are very easy. When the president withdrew the finance bill, he ought to have shown he was serious about it. Not to begin complaining, oh, we shall now deny these people money. Mm. These ones, we want to employ teachers. Siju so CDF will go. Siju, so oh, we want. No, just be serious. And look at the budget and remove certain things to compensate for the loss of 340 billion. Mm. You see? When you dissolve cabinet, that's the intelligence telling. Mm. Very good. Don't bring these people back. Mm. These people are no, not more important than the country. They may be good friends. In, indeed, they may be good people. Yeah. And actually, some of them are good people. Mm. But they are not more important than the country. Don't bring them back. You know, for them, they're thinking... That's why I'm blaming the intelligence of this country. Yeah. They must tell the president. You know, there, there's also the politics side of it. And I think this is what the president is looking at. No, which politics? There's yeah. no politics. This thing is not about politics. The politicians have had their game. Mm. Their game is over. This game is not about politics. Kenya is not about the politicians anymore. Mm. The people are about to take back their country. Then, then the I only think... danger is, mm. since it's not a structured way of taking up government, there will be anarchy. Mm. Everything we have worked for, for 60 years, will be destroyed. We will start afresh. It will take 50, 60 years for normals to return. And I'm telling you, people think it's a joke. Mm. A whole horde of this middle class will be, will be away as refugees if things go wrong. So it's not something you want to play around with. Are we looking at a different 2027 election if we actually get there? Because You're not see... even talking about 2027 is a waste of time. We may not get there. Or if we get there, we may get there in a way when we are already limping as a country. Mm. So that elections are meaningless. Or, 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 or you could create disorder through an election. Mm. How many countries have elected demagogues at, at times like this? Mm. DJ can speed. Can I be out? Can I How many countries have had two DJs? Yes. 
There are, even there's even one right now. In Madagascar. Yes, and there was also, I think, Philippines or something. Yes. Like that. So what are we talking about? Demagogues take over times like this. They just need to speak the language of the people when people have no long more. They no longer have hope. Mm. People have lost hope. So they just you need just a demagogue mm. to come and speak the language people love, and you take him to state house. Then you start huddling down, mm. and for the next sixty years you have no country. I, I want to urge can. I want to urge Kenyans, mm. especially the leadership of this country. Don't play around with the situation. Don't look at nane nane whether it will succeed or not. Mm. People don't need to be in the streets for it to be like The thing is already with us. The revolution is already with us. Mm. The beauty, the, 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 we are lucky because mm. for us we can do something about it. It's just a question of the government, the president, the leadership of this country, the politicians, Raila and the rest, mm. embarking on a path of change. All right. To midwife the change that must surely come. It can come in, a, in an orderly manner, or it will come in a destructive way. Why can't we allow it to come in an orderly manner where those in power, mm. the politicians both in the opposition and the government, midwife this change by implementing the things Kenyans think if you implement, mm. you'll create hope, the economy will grow, the young men and women who are in the streets will not be in the streets, but they will be somewhere doing gainful Work. What a place to wrap up. Thanks for tuning into this conversation. 170,000 of you have subscribed. Please subscribe to this channel so that we become a bigger family, helping our political leaders. Have yourself a lovely rest of your day.